right message. Information is power. Everyone wants power. So feel powerful with the NTA News Mobile app. The one-stop information center real news at your fingertip. Be the first to report by uploading first-hand information on the new report link. And be the first to know by simply clicking on any of the links on the sidebar for headlines, domestic info. In a few weeks, Nigeria will be on the threshold of history, the old making way for the new. After eight years of the Buhari administration, a new government will be sworn in in May 29, 2023. Now, Nigerians remain determined to participate and be part of the process, which begins by simply walking into any independent National Electoral Commission office, INEC, to register and to the point of collection of the permanent voters' card. INEC, in keeping its promise to ensure eligible voters are not disenfranchised, announced the collection of PVCs initially scheduled for November 2022, but postponed due to unforeseen circumstances to commence December 12, 2022 to end January 2022, sec 22nd, 2023, in all the 774 local government offices of the Commission, including 8,809 registration areas and wards from January 6 to 15th. 2023, from where the exercise will revert to the local government office of INEC January 22nd, 2023. However, eligible voters who are unable to collect their PVCs at the local government can do so at the registration areas and electoral wards while insisting there is no collection of PVCs by proxy. Now, how can the collection of PVC be effectively implemented within the stipulated time? What are the challenges as collection of PVC is critical to the success and transparency of the 2023 general elections, which will encourage participation of Nigerians in the process of voting in a new government come February and March 2023. This is our focus on weekend file with reports from zones. My guest is Mary Nkem, Deputy Director of Voter Education, INEC. I am Jumba Yusuf. First, the news. <laughs> The Presidential Tax Force Committee on Flood has visited Taraba State to assess areas that require urgent government interventions against flooding and other environmental challenges to guarantee food security for the country in the year 2023. Correspondent Simon Eladi Atta completes the, the report. The Presidential Panel on Flood Control is in Taraba State to evaluate and make recommendations on measures that government can step in to prevent and mitigate disasters caused by floods in the state. On arrival, the delegation under the leadership of the Director, Dams and Reservoir, Federal Minister of Water Resources, Abuja, Ali Ibrahim Dalla, were taken through some flood-prone areas occasioned by erosion in the state capital. Mr. Dalla noted that the team will take cognizance of the peddling issues and suggestions from the state as to be encapsulated in the Mambila and Dalsin Hausa Buffer Dams project to avert flood this year and improve food security. Permanent Secretary, Taraba State Minister of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Yusuf Gadi, appreciated the committee for the visit said Taraba is one among the states that had suffered the destruction caused by the release of excess water from Lagdo Dam from the Republic of Cameroon. Now our time, we we'll take the shortest time we'll to articulate this in some put them and send it to you. The team had visited Adamawa State to raise hope of construction of Dasin Hausa Dam by the federal government. In Jalingo, Simon Aladi Atta, NTA News. Political matters. The APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu is pledging to prioritize every part of Nigeria for national development if given the presidential mandate in the February 25th presidential election. At the APC presidential campaign rally in Akure, Ondo State, Tinubu also assures that moribund industries in Ondo State will be revived. <laughs> That was the mood at the NKO Abiola Democracy Park, Akure, venue of the APC presidential campaign rally. 
APC stalwarts drawn from across Nigeria appeal for massive votes for their party, assuring that with Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the president of Nigeria, the country will witness all around development. Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a man of track record. We see what we can see what they have done in Lagos and we know he has the capacity to replicate it in Nigeria. Our budget right now is about 19 trillion. We want somebody that has been able to manage that kind of money before. This is a man that can actually fix the problem of Nigeria. No state is a progressive state. No state can beat on those state. We will see it by the time the result is out, February 25. And for the man at the center of the press, they have brought the message of the new state to Nigeria and urges the people to guard their permanent voters' cards jealously. The message we bring here today is that of a renewed hope, a renewed assurance that education will receive priority in our country. A four-year program for a degree will be a four years. No children of the poor will be left behind. I give you uninterrupted energy. The APC presidential campaign rally in Akure was both laced with issues of national development and relaxation. <laughs> The Independent Grassroots Campaign Council for Atuku Okowa 2023 of the People's Democratic Party is engaging electorate at the world levels across the country towards galvanizing votes for the PDP presidential candidate Atuku Abubakar. Filmoti Yusuf tells us more. <laughs> Chairperson of the PDP Independent Grassroots Campaign Council for Atikokoa 2023, Ambassador Fatima Mohamed Goni, is leading the campaign at the hinterlands in the Federal Capital Territory before moving to some states of the country. The same message in all the villages she visited. The need for the people to vote for the PDP presidential candidate and former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. And with Atiku, I think the movement will be a great movement. Members and supporters of the party believe that the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar has garnered experience over the years to lead the country, being a former vice president. Meanwhile, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, stumped Oshobo for his presidential campaign, assuring the citizenry of Oshun State for a secured new Nigeria an industrialized nation if they can join the moving train of the party and elect him the next president of the country come February 25th, 2023. Joshua Ogunjide has details. It was a chant of peace, solidarity and unification for the nation as our show residents converged on Freedom Park or to receive Peter Obi and his running mate Dati Babahamut to the state of the virtues. The presidential candidate of Labour Party Peter Obi affirmed that it is not again say that Nigeria is in dire need of a revolutionary change considering wide range of insecurity, economic hardship and corruption hence the need to join the moving train of the party. The Heswa Anambra governor assured Nigerians that it would move the country to be an exporting nation which would have a multiply effect on the economy, create employment opportunities, facilitate infrastructural development and educational revitalization. Obi emphasized that it is criminal for any government to hold pensions and gratuities of pensioners who have saved their fatherland diligently for decades. That is towards admitted that speaking in one voice to prove to greedy and corrupt politicians that the power of the people is greater than that of the people in power, thereby urging the crowd to get the PVCs and vote massively as Labour Party remains the only party with integrity. With youth and women constituting 25% of the population, women leaders of the party said that Nigerian women are pregnant for a new Nigeria when Peter Obi is running as the elected president on May 29. Joshua, which is 18 News. 
Brazil on election matters as the lead agency in election security management and in line with the presidential directive in ensuring peaceful and credible elections. The leadership of the Nigerian police force at one day workshop is enhancing the capacity of some selected personnel with the necessary skills in combating electoral violence in Abuja. Francis Fong reports. <laughs> It is a training workshop for selected police personnel in the North Central Geopolitical Zone. The Nigeria Police Force is one of the most popular police forces. Coming barely a few weeks to the presidential and national assembly elections, the workshop is to demonstrate the commitment of the force in preventing electoral violence and other criminal activities that could affect the integrity of the polls. In a few weeks to come, the strength of the police will be put to test again. They will be to test again. Of the corners of the path approaching 2020 general election. This incapacity government will be enhanced in effective functionality and employ our team as the process. The workshop is expected to hold in the six geopolitical zones of the country between the 7th and 18th of January 2023. Ranks us from News. To other matters now, the 2022 Christian Pilgrimage presents an opportunity to intercede for Nigeria as the country prepares for the 2023 general elections. Executive Secretary of Nigeria and Christian Pilgrim Commission Reverend Yakubu Pam said, this and the airlift of intending programs to Israel and Jordan. Clement Barricu reports that about 300 programs were airlifted from the Victor Atta International Airport, Uyo, Akwa Ibom State. This is the third batch of December 2022 intending pilgrims from Cross River, Ondo, and Ibomi State. Their journey to the Holy Lands of Israel and Jordan is not just to seek for God's intervention in their personal affairs, but also for that of the nation. Executive Secretary Nigerian Christian Pilgrims Commission Reverend Yakubu Pam challenged the intending pilgrims to see themselves as ambassadors of the country and behave as such in the Holy Lands. This is the moment we need to go and knock for heaven. This is the moment we need to tell God that this country will never be down, but rather this election will make this country to prove the test of time to rise up. For the intending pilgrims, there is no better time to commit the country into God's hands than now. As a Nigerian, we need to seek the face of God for good leaders. People should look well and put their trust in God the Lord. There must be people who have a responsibility. The intending pilgrims had earlier received all instructions before undergoing the necessary security checks required in a yo implement Barikui and News. Friday, 6th January 2023, will surely be one to remember for His Eminence John Cardinal Onayakon as he marked his 40 years Episcopal ordination. Why do like it's undecided to use me? Not because I'm good, not because I'm the best person, not because I'm the holiest person around but simply because he is merciful. In November 1982, and at the age of 38, Pope St. John Paul II appointed Cardinal John Onaiko, the auxiliary bishop of Ilori, and ordained him in St. Peter's Basilica, Rome, on January 6, 1983. This appointment and episcopal ordination, he thus became the second youngest bishop in Nigeria after Cardinal Arinze. In October 1984, John Cardinal Femi Onaeko was appointed residential bishop of Ilori. Six years later, Pope John Paul II appointed Cardinal Onaeko the co adjutor bishop of the newly created federal capital territory, Abuja, in July 1990. 
In 2012, the late Pope Benedict XVI made him a cardinal, joining the 125 cardinals under the age of 80 and those eligible to vote for the next Pope. President Mohamedou Buhari shares in the joy of celebrations as Minister of Federal Capital Territory Mohamed Musabello and Minister of Women Affairs Dame Pauline Talent clock 64, January 8, 2023. The President notes the stability, decency in allocations and predictability predictability that the FCT minister has restored in the capital city through hard work and collaboration with stakeholders, especially local communities, opening up places for more infrastructural development and attracting tourism opportunities for growth. President Buhari extols talent for pushing and ensuring actualization of policies that favored women and children, particularly the girl child empowerment, and remain a strong voice for the campaigns against domestic violence, exploitation of children, and equal opportunities in workplace. We we'll take a break now. When we return, our conversation on collection of PVC in Nigeria will begin. Do stay. Progressive Congress APC welcomes the general public to the campaign rally of the APC presidential candidate, His Excellency Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu and his vice presidential candidate, His Excellency Senator Kashim Shetima and Adamawa State APC governorship candidate, Senator Aisha Tudahir Ahmed Binani and her deputy governorship candidate, Enrobo Titsiganama, which is scheduled to hold as follows, late Monday 9th January 2023, time 10 a.m. prompt, venue, Muhammad Buhari Square, Airport Road, Yola, special guest of honor, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Other dignitaries are His Excellency, Senator Dr. Abdullahi Adamu, CON, National Chairman of Progressive Congress. His Excellency, Governor Simon Bakulalo, CON, Governor of Plateau State and APC Presidential Campaign Council's Director General. His Excellency, Senator Atiku Abubakar Pagudu, CON, Governor of Kebbi State and Chairman, APC Governors Forum. Honorable Paulin Talim, Honorable Minister of Women Affairs, Honorable Samayana Tadaus, Chairman, Adamawa State of Progressive Congress. Senator Ahmed Barata, Director General, Adamawa State APC Governorship Campaign Council. My words, my bond. We can do it. It is possible with cohesion and determination. Announcer, Senator Aisha Tudahu Ahmed Benani, Adamawa State APC Governorship Candidate. The 16th edition of the PMB Administration Scorecard Series will feature the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Mr. Timmy Presilva. Date, Monday 9th, January 2023. Time, 10.30 a.m. Venue, National Press Center, Radio House, Abuja. The event will be broadcast live by NTA, FRCN, and VON and streamed on the social media handles of the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Announcer, Mrs. Lydia Shehu Jafia, MNI, Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Registration for UTME into Nigerian tertiary institutions begins January 14th to 14th February 2023. Candidates must check their eligibility before commencing registration, scanning the QR code provided by JAM for the e brochure and e syllabus. Each candidate must create a profile using only one phone number. Simply send your NIN by SMS to either 55019 or 66019. A profile code of 10 characters is received by the candidate to purchase the UTME to BEEP. Candidates can buy the e-prints from the banks or the vending agents through their e-wallets. Registration fee, inclusive of all relevant charges, is 6,700 Naira with mock exam or 5,700 Naira without mock exam. Candidates are not to pay any other fee at the CBT center as the fee stated is consolidated. Direct entry registration costs 4,700 Naira and starts 20th February to 20th April 2023. JAM, enhancing academic excellence. The government and the people of Yobe State happily welcome His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, President and Commander in Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, distinguished members of the National Assembly, honorable ministers, sons and daughters of the state, good friends of Yobe State, and all well wishes to Yobe State on the 9th January 2023. While in the state, President Buhari will commission the newly completed Yobe International Cargo Airport, model of schools, international modern markets, and the Damaturu Housing Estate. The inauguration of these projects symbolizes the official commissioning of all other projects completed by the Buri administration across the state. Come and join us celebrate the harvest of award-winning projects. You are welcome. Sang al Baba Malam Wali, Secretary to the State Government. Oh, 
All our country people, they talk with one voice. Ben say that Ashiwa Dibola Tinubu then runs as president of Nigeria for this president election. Ashiwa Dibola Tinubu, that the man who we all know and see all the good work in they do for the country, especially when in the governor of Lagos State. Now, when God used to Lagos to the best state for Nigeria, today many people all over Nigeria they like to go Lagos, go settle down for business and better life. And because of the good work when Bola Tinubu do, people of Nigeria, as Ashiwa Dibu for Lagos, now so he ready to do for the whole country. What has she wanted to do for the president of Nigeria? What has she said to as vice president? What NPC, the party will get to bloom? His Excellency, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje, OFR, Executive Governor of Kano State, cordially invites Kano State indigents, friends, and well wishes of the state to the presentation of the APC governorship candidate and fundraising dinner for His Excellency the Deputy Governor of Kano State, Dr. Nasiru Yusuf Damina, and his running mate, Murtala Suligaru, scheduled to hold as follows. Date, Sunday, 8th January 2023. Venue, International Conference Center, Abuja, time 6 p.m. Announcer, Committee of Friends. Thanks for joining us.